tourist attraction and it's utterly empty. The situation in my city in Ishidagil seems okay.
Sunday when I was walking down the street, I did see a police car with a megaphone telling people to go back home that quarantine needs to start today. But as you can see, there still are a few people out here. The advice that I've received from the local authorities is just to stay inside. Yeah, wash my hands with gel, but other than stay inside, I haven't received advice. And of course, now I've heard that the Mexican border with the United States, where I'm from, has shut down. The general mood of Mexicans that have talked to me is that they don't have a lot of confidence right now in their government and the way the government is handling the situation because the government is very optimistic and there haven't been so many strict official orders that everyone needs to stay inside. Which does make me wonder how people are actually going to get through this. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. The situation in my city, in Yushitayo, seems okay. We don't have cases here, but we got 20 cases, as I've heard, in our region. Uh, mostly we got news from the media, or sometimes there's something on social media. But people don't really know, is that true? Is that not true? Because uh, things change here, like all over the Russia. Several weeks ago, there were almost no cases. Now we got more, and suddenly everyone went for the quarantine. Several days ago, a president of Russia decided that everybody should go for one week work off. So everybody of the government of our region, of our city says it's kind of the quarantine, people should stay home. But also there are a lot of people outside, and now we're going to one of the shopping malls, which people in my city complain about that why it's open, because it's very big. So let's see how it is inside. There are only the stores with the food and pharmacies can be open. Here's even a sign that says that uh, officially everything is closed. We have a sign that is better to keep the distance one and a half meters. All the way around, there are a lot of people, so nobody stays home, everybody goes shopping, have a plenty of things, food, toilet paper, and it seems like everything is quiet. And even if people say, the government say that you better stay home, people just don't listen to it and live their normal life. As you notice, there are so many people do not wear masks, not outside, not in the store. And I just went to the pharmacy and asked if I can buy a mask. And they said, no, there are no masks, not in this pharmacy, not anywhere around the town. I think people so much get used to that whatever you watch on TV or online is not actually true. And people like to exaggerate things so they don't pay too much attention to what's going on in the US or Italy. And many of them do not believe that something can happen here.